Our next guest joins us from the wonderful area of Virginia Beach, Virginia, where he joins us. He's been playing, writing, and singing music since his early 20s, which wasn't that long ago, right? You know, his inspiration comes from his desire to be a light in this world for Jesus. His musical tastes and influences range from the Beatles, James Taylor, the Allman Brothers, so much more. He is a retired postal worker. Great to have him here with us again tonight. The original Rick W. Ross. Rick, good evening, sir. How you doing? Good evening. How you doing, Joseph? Good to see you tonight. Good uh, to yeah, see I just, you. I just turned 45 on, on Thursday, two days ago. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And Julie, I'll tell you what. That was about the purest voice I think I've ever heard. I mean, yeah, I remember years ago, I was trying out for a worship team. And I had too much vibrato. And I think vibrato is kind of like a, a you're kind of like cheating because you don't hit the notes just right. But she hits it so pure. I mean, like, she doesn't miss a note. It's like right on it. I was just so it's impressed fantastic by that. Stuff. Because that, take, that, that takes a real <clears throat> skill to be able to hear it that well. So you don't yeah. have to use any, any vibrato at all. You just hit it right on the money. And it's like, oh, wow, it's just really pure. So props to uh, Julie. And hey, yes. I, I, do a, I do a live uh, Crazy Blessed Worship on Friday night. I love to have Julie on there some night. Uh, so if you're available for some future Friday night, Julie, I'd love to have you. And of course, yes, you do a crazy blessed worship on Friday nights, uh, at seven Eastern four Pacific usually. And, uh, you've been doing a lot of stuff here lately as well. You released a YouTube video, um, as well as your latest song, YouTube premiere. And then also, uh, if anybody who's following your socials knows that you've been in the studio lately, in the recording studio, getting ready, you know, laying down the tracks for your latest project. How's that been going for you? Going pretty good. Two of the songs I'll be singing I've done, are new songs that I just recorded a couple weeks ago. Uh, I would just be playing them acoustically on a guitar, but uh, you yeah, have a nice little band backing me up on those songs. But yeah, it's like the first song I'm singing is a song, I probably the first song I ever wrote in my early 20s. And uh, my style has changed over the years. I, I, I used to sing like more of a Southern gospel style. And uh, so that's, that was what I was comfortable with. I think over the years, you know, my style has changed just a little bit, but uh, some of the newer songs are not just like that. They're a little, little different. And that first song, uh, let's lead us right into it, if you would. Uh, first song of the night, take it away there, Rick. He's with us right here on this Saturday edition of Red's Room. Well, it's called The Word is Like a Lamp Unto My Feet. It's, you know, Psalm 119, 105. And it's, uh, you know, it's just kind of uh, Southern Gospel, like I said. So here we go. Hey, Amen. Let's do it. Rick Ross and Red's Room. The Word is like a lamp unto my feet. Yes, it is. The Word is like a lamp on to my feet oh yeah oh a light unto my pathway lord a light for me each new day yeah your word is like a lamp unto my feet darkness it had a hold of me was so blind that I could not see until your word came by my way to lighten up my pathway for oh, your word is like a lamp onto my feet yeah your word is like a lamp onto my feet yes it is you put it like a lamp on to my feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, a light unto my pathway, Lord. A light for me. You still day. Yeah, your word is like a lamp on to my feet. Snaying by a worldly care. It hung around my neck till I was dead. I was dead in sin. Oh, but then your word, it brought me life. It raised me up 
to see the light. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Yes, it is. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, a light unto my pathway, Lord. A light for me. You still day. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Sickness, it tried attacking me. The ailment in my flesh wouldn't set me free. Oh, but then your word came by my way to heal me in my body. Oh, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Yes, yeah. Oh, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, a light unto my pathway, Lord. A light for me. You should do day. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Yeah, your word is like a lamp onto my feet. Words <laughs> like a lamp onto my feet. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, indeed. Well done, sir. Well done. Uh, I felt it. like I was at like a Southern Gospel like church there for a quick second. I'm about ready to start stomping my feet there. There you go. <laughs> Good stuff there from Rick Ross. Nicely done, Thank sir. Thank you. Right here with us. Thank you. On Red's Room, uh, Jose Barajas says, great Southern gospel, <laughs> indeed. I noticed out there in the comments as well that Coley and Monica and Olga and a few other people are wishing you happy birthday, dear Rick. <laughs> happy birthday to you. That's right. It was just Appreciate a couple that. of days Thank ago. You. Wasn't it? Yes, February 8th. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank <laughs> you for spending part of your birthday weekend with uh, us here. Uh, uh, birthday week for you. How's that? How's that been there, sir? I tell you what, yeah, I, you know, because everybody's on Facebook, right? It's, it's you know, one, you want to get the music out there, so you, you know, you're just on social media a lot. So I'm on Facebook a lot lately, especially. And um, I had I had almost 500 birthday wishes on Facebook. I've never had that many. I had like maybe 100 last year, year before, almost 500. How do you respond to those birthdays? My goodness. Wow. Yeah. Well, happy birthday to you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you for being here with us on Red's Room. And, uh, of course, you mentioned Praise of Blessed Worship a minute ago. You do that on Fridays. How's that been going for you? Man, I love it. I love, you know, helping promote other artists like you do. You, you do just a great job of, you know, just uh, lifting people up, encouraging them. I just try to, you know, take a lesson from you. To try to help people out and just i love you know interacting with them like you do sort of talking between each song and stuff i think it's great elizabeth has helped us out a lot elizabeth whole house she's been on uh, doing the spotlighting a few times there too so i uh, love it i, I just really enjoy it. i enjoy getting to meet other artists you know other indie artists so i really love it oh well, thank you for your heart for the indie artists as well and helping to give them another place and a platform to be able to flourish and and you know, promote their music and get a chance to uh, to be heard out there. There's definitely a need for a lot of those places out there for artists to be uh, to be cared for like that. And so, thank you for what you do, uh, holding it down on a Friday night out there as well. You can definitely get a hold of Rick if you want to uh, be in touch with him for Crazy Blessed Worship. Coley is on here as well. She does the podcast as well. Rick also co-hosts the podcast along with Coley. There, you can hear their podcast, uh, not only on their YouTube and stuff, but uh, on our radio network as well. Uh, six Eastern, three Pacific, a new episode drops, and we simulcast that on our radio network as well every Wednesday evening, when new podcast drops. So thank you for the work that you're doing with that. And shout out to Coley. How are you out there on Facebook? Nice to see you as well. Rick, song number two, sir. What do you have for us? Well, one thing I want to say, we appreciate you, you know, having the, the podcast on your show. That's awesome. We appreciate that 
Very much so. Anytime. Thank you. So Anytime. my next song is uh, "When the Wind Blows." It's, it's one of my newest songs I wrote. That one of the first one, the one I first sang was probably one of the oldest ones. This is a new one. That's called "When the Wind Blows," and it's all about, you know, if you've been hurt and you just can't seem to get a breakthrough, the word of God is not taking effect in your life, and uh, just doesn't seem to have any effect, and it just can't. You can't seem to get breakthrough into God's presence. And the song is about that. So it's called When the Wind, when the Wind Blows. Great for us on Rezzer. When the wind blows against the effort of everything you try And it feels like you just can't go on you pray all those prayers and it seems like God does not care And heaven feels so far away from you That's when I praise the Lord In the midst of the storm Goes deep down I know He really cares for me and I know he really cares for you too When the night comes and darkness takes away every bit of light And you cannot see the hope in front of you you've heard the words of life before but now it's not the same your pain has quenched the life they once brought you that's when i praise the lord in the midst of the storm goes deep down i know he really cares for me and i know he really cares for you too and when there's no breakthrough and your troubles got the best of you too and you need to find a way to get you out of your gloom there's nothing like praising God will do. That's why I praise the Lord. In the midst of the storm, goes deep down, I know He really cares for me. And I know He really cares for you too goes deep down i know he really cares for me and i know he really cares for you too he really cares for you too yes he does we hope and pray that that song for anybody who's looking for their breakthrough helps encourage them and and helps people realize that their breakthrough is not that far away just keep on clinging to the promises that he has for you and for your life and keep digging in keep clinging on to him and jose baraja says uh love the singer songwriter voice is so mellow uh jose's loving it out there uh dana elizabeth says he is so worthy of our praise and amen yes he is indeed dana thank you for watching jose as well uh fantastically done rick uh love I, I love the mellow stuff too as well just uh love the way you were strumming that guitar there uh how long have you been playing the guitar and kind of honing in your you mentioned some great uh you know influences out there from james taylor who plays just as good with guitar as anyone and of course the beatles you know they were just i heard on the um radio yesterday 60 years ago yesterday since the beatles appearance on uh 
Ed Sullivan show. Uh, I didn't know realize it was 60 years, but yeah, you mentioned a lot of great influences on there. Um, how long have you been strumming the guitar? Well, I've been strumming since, since I'm only 45, probably about 25 years, probably. <laughs> since That's... I was, uh, I, I started learning when I was probably 14, 15. I, I think my parents bought me a guitar then and, you know, started learning then. And then didn't get serious with it until after I got saved when I was about 23. Then I started, hey, I, I just figured I was supposed to start writing songs then. That's when I started writing after I got saved. And so then I started getting more serious about it. But I wasn't really serious about it until then. I was just, I was just, it was a hobby until then. So. Well, good stuff. Thank you for your dedication to your craft there. Well, of course, we look forward to hearing all the great new stuff out there. Um, Tell what you want to take a minute to, to uh, just let everybody know what great studios that you're working on up there in Virginia Beach, Virginia. So, they, the props yes. to those couple guys, real quick. Yes. Uh, Bay Cloud Studios is a stu studio I'm working at out of now. Uh, Alan Bays and Stuart McLeod, they're great musicians, great studio in engineers. Anybody who I recommend them highly because they're they are so talented. The young guys, but they've been around studios since they were kids and they know what they're doing and they put out they they record all my music, just about all of them, just about I would say, ninety percent of it. And uh, I've had like the last three years, uh, last two years, about four. I'm working on my fourth album, so and they are, they're fantastic. They know they know my feel. They know it. They they pick up on the vibe that I want. You know my songs. They know how to create. I, I I always tell them I just bring them the skeleton and they put on the bone they put on the meat you know so yeah if they 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 put the stuff on I just I just come in with my my guitar my, my guitar and my vocals and they, they they do the rest they're great fantastic stuff uh, thanks guys for all you guys do and uh, so probably the new album I would assume probably at some point later this year yeah you know i haven't been releasing albums per se i've been re releasing singles singles <laughs> I, put out, I put out 25 singles on on youtube to youtube is the place i go to i just i just dropped a song um yesterday uh called take me back and that is that's a feature that's probably with if i had a title of the album that would be it that would be the, the most you know it's the biggest song that i have on there actually and the coley d she had she did the the uh, the video for me the graphics she's doing a great job with that i appreciate her doing it props to uh coley d she's out there yes and um so that song yeah i'd love to have people go out there on youtube and check it out because it, it's you know you know how it is you know we, we like to have, get views and stuff so it'll be it doesn't get released on spotify and all until uh i think monday or tuesday so there you go check out the brand new single from the original Rick W. Ross out there. Go check out his YouTube. And, of course, it'll be up on Spotify here this coming week as well. Song number three, Rick, what do you have for us tonight? Well, this song is actually a co-write. Uh, it's called The Glory Road. It's going to be on the new, new uh, release. And um, it is a song about being on the glory road. And when I first did it, I, was, I did it more up-tempo. But in the studio, they wanted to slow it down to give it a more country rock sound rather than up-tempo sound. So, but Coley likes it up-tempo. So I'm gonna play it up-tempo the way that we first did it originally. So it's called The Glory Road, right? I was headed nowhere. I was nowhere to be found. The dreams of life and love as a kid. They were lost as I grew old So what's the point of living If love is not around These were the thoughts that were in my head Needed something to turn around Something was calling me to change what I could be To take a road that would free my soul Now I'm on the glory road I'm on the glory road The street was more than gold The path that leads to where my Savior is Now I'm chained on the glory road Yes, I'm chained on the glory road 
What I found was you there To guide me on my way To clean me up and change my life Into what I am today Cause when you came into my life You changed up everything I was headed down a different path now I'm on the glory road I'm on the glory road The street worth more than gold The path that leads to where my Savior is Now I'm chained on the glory road Yes, I'm chained on the glory road Yes, I'm on that glorious pathway that sets the captive free. And I know that path is narrow where most refuse to be. But I know I'm safe. No, I won't be lost. So I'm taking that road to the end. I'm on the glory road street worth more than gold the path that leads to where my savior is now i'm chained on the glory road yes i'm chained on the glory road i'm on the glory road the street worth more than gold the path that leads to where my savior is Yes, I'm chained on the glory road. Now I'm chained on the glory road. I'm on the glory road. The street worth more than gold. The path that leads to where my Savior is. Now I'm chained on the glory road. Yes, I'm chained on the glory road. Yes, I'm chained on the glory road. We're on that glory road, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Goalie D says, sing along with you, OG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's loving the upbeat rendition that you did just for her out there. Well done there, Rick. Fantastic tune. Thank you. Um, a lot of the inspirations for your song, I'm sure it's, you know, all about kind of what you were singing just now just leading people down that glory road right making sure people are uh, knowing yes. their worth and their identity and their value in him i'm sure your songs inspiration wise are are kind of on those roads aren't they yes and you know I, I, when i first the first time i first words i wrote on the chorus i had um we're saved on the glory road because you know the bible says that we're supposed to work out our salvation with fear and trembling it's like a daily process it's not like we're saved and then when it's, that's it that's the process right so i, the, I originally said we're, we're saved on the glory but that's kind of controversial because you know it's like once saved always said kind of thing so i we, we came back to the we're changed on the glory road instead so yeah it is a process our salvation is a process yeah we want to keep it want to keep it going and and it, we're all changed on the glory road each and every one of us yeah you know it's we are all a work in progress until he calls us home to be with him daily i mean yeah. we're going to continue to to make mistakes we're going to continue to fall short every once in a while or daily if we're doing things right you know but you know the, the important thing is we keep on pressing forward we keep on you know following that glory road we keep on following we keep on running our race the best as we can uh yeah. for him each and every day um and what better way to do that than enjoying some fellowship and community like this along the way to make it that much brighter um olga um says when i listen to rick ross i think of fabulous daniel curtis and when i listen to daniel curtis i think of phenomenal rick ross both are so <laughs> special in delivering the message through their music how about well, we, that? And we've had Daniel Curtis on Live Crazy Blessed Worship uh, a couple times now, and uh, I think he's on next week as well. 
But uh, yeah, out of Nashville, love his style, love the country <laughs> gospel style, love it, man. Yeah, we, 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 Daniel we're, we're asked similar. a while ago. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah. Daniel asked, "Rick, are you sure you ain't from Memphis?" <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, that was best. Definitely, I, you know, when I first started out, like the first song is definitely like a country gospel kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel chimed in just now, responding to Olga. Daniel goes, "It must be the beard." <laughs> that's funny. Uh, <laughs> that's the that's the secret sauce right there, right? The beard, yes. right? Yes, like Samson. You know, you don't want to lose your strength. Don't want to have your right. hair cut or your hair cut or your beard cut. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That that that's what that's what one of our guys <laughs> says at work. You know, with all of us who have beards. You know, females you call them beautiful, right? Men with beards you call them beautiful. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Beautiful. I haven't heard that. Yeah, that's good. There you go. All right. All right. I'm with you on that. The, the right. original Rick W. Ross here with this great, mellow, smooth song stylings here. Right here from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, I know some, I think I have kind of some kind of extended family out there in the Norfolk area. So I'm oh, you do? wanting to get out there in the Virginia yeah. Beach area. Here's well, come on the, come on absolutely out. glorious out there. Come it's on good out. country out there. I'll have to make it out there one of these days we're, for sure. We're on the right, we're, of course, we're on the right coast, not on the left coast. So we're on the right side. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Red's going to be closer to the right coast here in yep. just a little bit. Yeah. That's where it needs to be. Was That's that, was that just like, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good stuff there. Uh, you got one more song to finish out your set for us here I tonight, do, Rick? I What's do. that it's last song my... you're giving us tonight? This is one of the first songs I ever wrote too, but I when I wrote it, it was just a little, you know, you know soft little melody. Uh, I would say it was, uh, you know, more of a country. Um, I, it wasn't wasn't much to it, but over the years, the song has developed into something different. I want a little more punch into it, a little more rock into it, so try to change it up a little bit. What I do was I I tune the guitar to a drop D, right? And then I, I, I have a little thing here on my amp where I, I can um, put a delay on it too. So it gives it has a certain rhythm to it that it's, it gives it a fatter sound. So it's, it's it can be completely different than what I've just been playing. Hopefully, if I can just get this thing tuned right, make sure it's tuned right. Because this my guitar gets out of tune real quick, so I have to make sure it's you know so it's not it doesn't sound bad. So give me a second here. My February birthday friend, Rick Ross. My, my birthday's in 18 days, so we're 20 oh, days really? apart from each other. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Well, happy birthday. If I don't see you, happy birthday. Well, thank you. Happy belated birthday to you as well. February birthday pals over here. Well, this song's called Washed Away. I did a music video to this song last year. Uh, and if you, anybody's heard it on my YouTube channel, uh, I was actually in the video. So it's called Washed Away. Here we go. Now it's time to start anew for Christ our King has won. He was free from sin is true Through him our souls are free He washed away, hallelujah He washed away All our sins at Calvary yesterday Pants all clear, hallelujah as all clean as we travel down his highway without fear his past was straight his teeth were great in him we must return Lift our hearts in every man and he only did and say now. He 
washed away, hallelujah, he washed away now. All our sin that shall be yesterday, Lord. Pants are clear, hallelujah, pants are clear now. As we travel down this highway without fear now. As we travel down this highway without fear now. The goodness of which he taught has come to find its way now. To lift our hearts and never men and hear all his children say now. He washed away, hallelujah, he washed away now. All our sins that Calvary yesterday now. Pants are clear, hallelujah. Pants are clear now. As we travel down this highway without fear now. As we travel down this highway without fear. sins of Calvary. Washed away right here. Fantastic job, Rick. Thank you so much for being here with us. So you can find that, of course, on his YouTube channel. Uh, of course, he is in the video, which makes it that much better. We always like him, Rick's in the videos there, too. Uh, Rusty Drake, who's tuning in, says, love this song, Powerful uh monica says rick you have so much soul powerful music coley d says the music video for this one she agrees uh this one is awesome daniel wants you to know as well that he has his guitar and he's playing along right there with you so awesome. there you go well, thank you appreciate that yeah in the mute in the video i at the last scene i am in the ocean getting baptized by a wave as, as the waves coming over me as at the last scene of the washed away video. It's a really cool scene. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Good stuff yeah. there. Uh, great stuff there, Rick. Uh, always enjoy hearing you on our program. So great to have you a part of uh, this program tonight. Uh, please take a minute and let us know uh, some of the many ways we can connect up with you and uh, follow you along, whether it be on your personal music page um your many socials and web pages we can find you on there or a little about crazy blessed worship uh any of the above let us know how we can keep connecting up with you yes uh every, and you know more on, on the all all the platforms out there and uh, especially youtube so i appreciate anybody who goes to youtube the original D rick w ross to distinguish me between the rapper rick ross you have to put the w between the rick and the, and the ross to find me on on youtube but yeah the original rick w ross on youtube and uh, anybody out there who wants to contact me about being on fr uh, Friday Night Live, I'd love to contact with you. Just uh, contact me on Messenger on fa off of Facebook, and uh, I'd love to have you on the live Crazy Bless Worship anytime. Please, uh, I'll schedule you. Anybody out there who wants to be on, please let me know. And, uh, you know, all my music is on all the platforms, you know, all the, the typical ones, you know, that everybody else is on, Spotify, iTunes, you know, all, all those, so. I appreciate you guys out there who want to listen to my music. I, I uh, we, Coley always has encouraged me to tell everybody, hey, find me out there on all the all the other platforms, you know, especially YouTube. So. 
And uh, in the next couple of months, uh, songwriting, more crazy blessed worship, uh, more releasing music, all the above, I'm assuming, is uh, coming up for you over the next few months. Yeah, you know, I, I try to release like a song a month or maybe every three weeks, depending on, you know, when everything kind of works out financially as far as getting the songs out there. But yeah, I try to get be consistent with it. I've been just consistent with it for a year and a half now. I put a song out at least once a month on YouTube and, you know, on the other platforms as well. But I uh, love being on, on on YouTube. I just To me, it's a big difference between just hearing it and when you see it and, and, and hear it at the same time. To me, it makes a huge difference. I've always been a, a YouTube fan because of that. I think it the visual it, component it brings, along with it. Yeah, it brings, it brings it to life more, yeah. Yeah, well, good stuff on there. Always lo I love and enjoy hearing your music. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us, Rick, on this Saturday night. So let's pray for Rick and for his ministry real quick as well. Lord, we just thank you for Rick. We thank you for the work that he does at Crazy Blessed Worship. We just continue to pray for the Crazy Blessed Worship team as well with Rick and Coley and uh, you know Elizabeth and Deborah and everyone else who helps out on the team. May they continue to be a vessel used for you to do great work in their ministries over there as well. And Lord, we just thank you for Rick, that you would continue to just give him a heart of song, continue to bless him and provide him with the words that needs to be sung and written to continue to make a difference for you and continue to impact hearts that needs to hear it. <clears throat> I want to read this. Thank you that you'll continue to give him provision personally, and professionally uh, in his walk with you. And uh, we praise you for the new music that's coming out and may it reach whoever it is called and designed to reach. And we just ask that you would keep him lifted up, keep him encouraged. And we just uh, thank you for everything he's doing uh, for the kingdom. Uh, we just thank you for uh, allowing him to share his gifts uh, in, in with us here tonight, here on Red's Room as well. Uh, we just thank you for everything you're doing for him. We just thank you for all he sings. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. I appreciate it, Joseph. Thanks for your encouragement. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate you, so you being here. Great to have yeah. your voice here as part of the proceedings here tonight on this edition of Red's Room.